everyone, so this is a quick tutorial on just the basics of getting started with Google Drive and how to start an actual Google document. So the first thing you're going to do is sign into your Gmail account because you need your Gmail account in order to access Google Apps. Once you've logged into your Gmail, you're going to see this black bar that spans the top of your Gmail account and you'll see Maps and YouTube. What you want to do is click on Drive. Now, I already have a lot of things in my Drive account, but once you're here, if you have never created a Google document, this will be fairly blank. But if you'll see this red button over here that says Create, and if you click Create, you'll see the different kinds of apps that you can use. There's Documents, which is just like word processing. There's presentation, which is very similar to PowerPoint, spreadsheets, forms, and Google Drawing. So just to begin a basic Google document that you can work on or you can share and work on with other people, either asynchronously at different times or, you know, synchronously, many people can be at the same doc at the same time. So what I would recommend doing is beginning by giving your document a title. When you do it at the beginning, you get it out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a title. Then you can go ahead and use any of these regular word processing tools up here at the top to customize the font, to change the size, even change the color of your font. Um, if you want to work on your document with more than one person, you're going to go up to the share button. When you click share, you have the opportunity to keep it private or you can make it public on the web where anyone can view it um, and either view edit or comment depending on how you set up your share settings. So if I click public on the web, you'll see they can view it. I can change this and make it possible for them to comment or edit. I can do this also by clicking anyone with the link. So this is a little bit more private in the sense that you have to give the link to someone and then again they can view um, and if someone want, is viewing a document that they want, they can make a copy of that document at any time. But you can also make it possible for them to leave comments on the side or to actually edit the document. Or you can keep it private. And then um, just make sure whatever your visibility is that you click save. You can, if, you, if it's a private document, you can go down here and actually add just one, two, three, or a collection of people as well. That's another option. And when you're inviting people onto the document, sometimes it's nice to add a message about what the document is or what you're hoping that they will do on your document. And you can send a copy to yourself. And then share and save. So I'm actually going to share this with my other account. and then you'll see those changes there, click done, and you're back on the document. Now should there be more than one person on the document, you'll see a colored square up here. And once there's somebody else in the document, you can actually click this little chat sign, and then a chat bar will show up on the side here, um, over in this area, and then you can actually instant message with the person who's also on the document. Now. If I wanted to leave a comment for someone who might come to the document later, I can go up to insert, select comment, and then tell them what I'd love for them to do on the doc or ask a question or share an idea. Um, so that's another way. And then those comments would stay on the side there until the next person came on the document and either responded to my question, replied to the comment, or resolved the comment. So there's just some basics for getting started with Google Docs.